Meet Corey Haas. He's like a lot of other children his age, with one big exception. Corey was born with a rare genetic disease that left him virtually blind. Corey Haas has a retinal degeneration called Labor's congenital amaurosis. It's a childhood form of retinitis pigmentosa. If you think of the eye as a camera, the back of the eye, the retina, is the film. And in Corey's retinal degeneration, it's the back of the eye that is not working correctly. It's like the film and the camera becoming fogged and not working correctly. Being a first time mom, I didn't know that there was actually a problem until my babysitter. So look, he's not like the other child that I have in my daycare because he's not looking at things, he's not reaching for things right in front of him. It's very heartbreaking to see him drop something and not see it and uh, just keep searching for it and says he can't see it when meanwhile it's right there in front of him. I started feeling hopeful when we actually got the diagnosis as to what was wrong with Corey's eyes. Um, and then from there, you just hope and pray and something's working. More than 10 million Americans of every age and race suffer vision loss from retinal degenerative diseases. For four decades, the Foundation Fighting Blindness has been the leading force in driving the research to help people like Corey who are living with vision loss. As the largest private funding source of retinal degenerative research in the world, the Foundation has raised more than a half a billion dollars. The mission of the Foundation Fighting Blindness is to find treatments and cures for retinal diseases through the support of research. These diseases include macular degeneration and retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, the Foundation is really focused like a laser beam on research. That's what we do and we're in business to get promising science into the clinic and to patients. The Foundation Fighting Blindness funds world-renowned experts, subject matter experts, and really works with them to make sure that we're making a difference in the field. Our scientific advisory board are world-renowned subject matter experts. We really have the cream of the crop in the individuals who can help us make those decisions as we're looking at what research to fund in order to get the biggest amount of return on the foundation's investment. In 2008, the Foundation Fighting Blindness funded the clinical trial at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia where Corey underwent an experimental gene therapy procedure. Corey had his eyes dilated and he was placed under an operating microscope so that the instruments that deliver the therapeutic virus could be placed in the eye and that the virus could be delivered directly to the cells that need it. The virus carried the gene which Corey is missing and allowed the defective cells to produce the protein which they did not produce before this treatment. And that resulted in restoration of the biochemical blockade in his disease, allowing him to see. The Corey Haas story is without doubt the, the biggest breakthrough in the history of the foundation and really represents the culmination of a lot of work and a lot of investment over the last 40 years. The success of this particular gene therapy opens the door for using gene therapy to treat a wide variety of other blinding diseases. And while the restoration of Corey's vision in one eye was recognized throughout the world as a hopeful breakthrough in the potential of gene therapy, it was felt and seen most dramatically by Corey and his family. We were going to the zoo four days after surgery. And so we're walking in <clears throat> to the zoo and Corey goes, the sun's hurting my eyes. That's never happened. It's been a long time coming to have some success in gene therapy. And I think we are just seeing the glimmer of the first real successes in gene therapy now. The success of this particular gene therapy for Corey and Labor's congenital amaurosis was a real milestone in the field and that it showed that in fact you could do this type of treatment and restore vision. To see this kind of success is just incredibly fulfilling and it's just wonderful that a lot of the families that we've been working with for all these years are going to find so much hope in what's happening now. The Foundation Fighting Blindness provided the funding needed for Corey's miraculous surgery that restored his sight. But more funding is needed to bring more and better treatments to light, which will lead to more breakthroughs, like Corey's. It's indescribable, the, the emotions that I go through in seeing all of these studies take place and seeing the results. 
Uh, I myself have cried when I've seen Horries. It's just amazing to me. 